And let's talk about the uh, anonymizing the data. So what is uh, anonymizing data? Basically, uh, we will uh, try and understand a little more about this. So uh, what you need to do uh, with the trans with the uh, you know configuration files of uh, uh, inputs dot configuration that tells you a Splunk where uh, the data is, and then transforms dot configuration that defines the regular expression and the other other masking uh, parameters for this particular uh, you know configuration file. So this is uh, you know very much important uh, aspect when it comes to anonymizing the anonymizing the data and uh, props dot configuration that uh, refer, refers the uh, parameters uh, in the transforms dot configuration. So this is basically uh, you know props dot configuration will be uh, you know you can take it as a reference for uh, the particular parameters in the transforms dot configuration files. All right now. We'll try and see a couple of examples here for uh, every, uh, you know, configuration files that I was talking about, right? So first of all, uh, inputs dot configuration file. Okay, so if you can see here, inputs, uh, you know, monitor with the uh, path, and it will also, uh, you know, talk about the source type, which is, uh, you know, source type equals to uh, the source type with the square brackets. This is where you will be defining the particular source type value to the uh, you know inputs dot configuration files similarly for transforms dot configuration files here you will have to talk about the name of the particular stranger right stranger underscore name and uh, the regular expression uh, and you will have to give the value of the regular expression as well and the format should be uh, you know format of the mask and dest underscore key equal to raw data okay so basically in the transforms dot configuration files when you are uh, you know if you have a stranza of a test underscore key okay, you need to uh, define the raw data to talk about this uh, you know the particular uh, configuration file of transforms dot configurations all right this is about these two uh, inputs dot configurations and the outputs dot configurations and uh, we can also uh, talk about the other configuration file uh, when it when it comes to uh, raw data manipulation right so uh, the other configuration file uh, you know I think you can you can talk about the props dot configurations as well okay you can uh, observe couple of you know common parameters in props and transforms as well source type uh, inputs uh, and props in fact okay so source type uh, will be defining from uh, the uh, inputs dot configurations and transforms you know anonymizing stands and name from the transforms this is what the specific uh, um, the, the configuration stands are for the prop starts configuration files all right so this is about these three uh, configuration files that you will be uh, defining uh, you know with the uh, you know prop start configurations and transform start configurations and the common factor uh, common uh, you know uh, definition i mean defining value that you can see here stands are name in both props dot configurations and uh, transforms as well. All right, the how how you can overwrite the source type or host. We can uh, quickly uh, look at this now. This is basically occurs at the parse time in in the parsing phase. In fact, okay, so this this works on the indexer or a heavy forwarder. Okay, this works on the indexer or the heavy forwarder, and also. Uh, you know you can you can actually specify uh, you know uh, when when you are talking about where this will be occurring and then what you need to do uh, transforms dot configurations prop starts configurations so majorly these two are the you know very important configuration files that you'll be defining okay now similarly for what we have uh, discussed you know when it comes to stranger's uh, perspective we will also look at here again the transforms dot configurations the stranger name regular expression and the uh, you know uh, regular expression should be in the square brackets and then the format and dest dot key if you can see here for the dest dot key you will have to talk about the um, metadata source type as well so metadata is you know the source value for the dest underscore key uh, that you will be defining when it comes to transforms dot configuration file in this specific phase okay so important uh, you know thing that you will have to remember here is the stanza name and the regular expression that you will be uh, you know defining uh, in the transforms dot configuration files in this particular phase 
all right so after the transforms dot configuration file we can uh, we can uh, talk about the next configuration file you know um, in this uh, particular process you, you will have uh, you know mm, mm, as i already defined a couple of configuration files in my in my previous uh, i mean i mean in the previous slide which i was talking about right so similarly we can uh, check all the configuration files here as well okay so uh, after transforms it will be i think uh, you'll get the uh, you know props dot configuration files we can uh, define that as well here okay so give me a minute and it's taking some time yep okay so uh, props dot configuration files uh, which is the transforms change source time unix trans are name from the trans